saves me a lot of money. It saved me a lot of stress. It saved me time. And it genuinely made my life a lot easier. Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me again, my name is Nasha Tundi. If you're new to this channel, I hope you consider subscribing. I hope your energy and mind connect. And if this is home, welcome back, welcome back, welcome. Okay, so um, when February began, I decided to try something that I previously never really had thought of. When I did research into the whole topic, I actually found out so many other people agreed. And they said, as wives and mothers, they said it really helps them reduce the stress levels and just keep everything together. So obviously, every day you have to eat something. You have to eat something and because you have to eat, you have to cook or you have to tell someone to cook for you. So obviously you have to eat and that's where it's going. I realized I saved a lot of money. I saved, I think, um, close to 600 RMB, which in dollars would be about, I don't know, $100. Um, this might seem like very little if you are in the US, but if you're in China, then you know this is actually some good money. I saved $100 roughly. I saved time. I didn't have to worry about going to class, coming back and just not knowing what to do for the day and what to eat and the saving me the stress because the stress that I would previously like have, the stress that I would have when it came to thinking of what to eat tonight and all that stuff would suddenly not be there. And so this meant that my life was stress-free, virtually stress-free when it came to cooking. So and this one thing that I tried is meal planning. Yes, I tried meal planning. I planned my meals for the whole month and it saved me a lot. So I just want to invite you, maybe you should try it too. Maybe, maybe just give it a shot. This does not mean that you don't have the autonomy to do whatever you want to do with your diet when you have meal planned. It just simply means you kind of have a schedule of what you're going to eat from Monday to Saturday or Monday to Sunday or whatever you want to do. It allows you to pick out various ideas, food dishes and meal ideas and put them into the different days so that when you go through the week and you just do this for the whole month. I do for the whole month so it just saved me a lot of time. When you do this, it means that you kind of have an idea of what you're going to eat this week. So even as you go out to shop for groceries for the month, for the week, you actually know what you're going to buy and you save yourself a lot of money from buying things that you think you're going to use and never actually end up using. And obviously it saves you the pressure of deciding, oh, let me just eat out because I can't figure out what I'm going to eat today. So that definitely helps. With that pick so, out, you literally could go on the internet and pick out different meal IDs, put them in from Monday to Saturday, and after that, you kind of have an idea. If you kind of have an idea for what you want to eat or what you're going to have. So let's say it's Tuesday and you feel like, no, I don't want to have beef stew. Instead, I want to have chicken. I want to have what? Chicken breast. Then what you simply do is you can substitute that. But the whole point is that it kind of gives you an idea. It gives you meal ideas so you don't have to run around feeling stressed and, oh my gosh, I don't have this. I want to make this and just impulse spending on take out and all that stuff. So I hope you try it. And if you do try it, let me know in the comment section how that goes for you. If you've done it before, let me know how you like the experience. If you want to give it a shot, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have an amazing day. Check out my other videos. Bye.